Hey everyone, good morning. It is 2.57 a.m. I got a notification on my phone a little bit before 2 a.m. that said I had a trip on my schedule. This is the earliest sign-in that I've had in a while and I believe it's the earliest sign-in that we have at DFW because the sign-in time is at 4 a.m. which means our flight takes off at 5 and I don't think we have any flights that take off any earlier than that. Today I fly from Dallas to Miami and then Miami to Kingston, Jamaica and tomorrow we fly from Kingston to Miami, Miami to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Dallas. It's a high time two day trip which is nice because I will get hours although I am exhausted. This month has been really rough for me in terms of just not being able to sleep through the whole night. I am the lead flight attendant today. I really like flying lead. That means I am up front in first class and I give all of the PAs in the announcements. Also put up the new magnet from my last trip. I didn't realize how big it was until I put it on my fridge and compared it to the other magnets. I normally am not a coffee drinker, but when I'm up this early, this is a must. I don't like hot coffee, but I do like iced coffee on occasion. Some food I have for this trip is just dry snacks. Since I am going out of the country, I cannot bring any fruit, vegetables, or meat. It's now 3.08 a.m. I am about to drive to the airport. I want to ban all flights before 6 a.m. Um, the only good thing about driving to the airport this early in the morning is that obviously there's never any traffic because everyone's sleeping. Airport is a ghost town this early in the morning. I met one of my crew members. This is Sarah. Hi, good morning. I'm having coffee right now. On the plane now here in Dallas about to get ready to start boarding for our flight to Miami I'm really hoping that my iced coffee kicks in soon because I am like delusionally tired all right everyone meet Juliana hey. or Juliana I'm so See, sorry uh -uh. See, she just did it I know it's Juliana you yeah. But she's the first coworker I've worked with who has a similar name to me. Juliana. Juliana. And we are in Miami airport right now. Yes. We have a little bit of a sit time. Mm -hmm. And then we head to Kingston. Jamaica. Oh, say that again? What? Say Jamaica. It. it sounds good when you say it. Just got to my hotel room in Kingston, Jamaica. Both flights this morning were smooth. There were no delays, which is awesome. It's always nice when you can go a day of flying where everything just goes as planned. I love the crew that I'm flying with. The girls are super nice. It's been really fun and we are actually about to change and then go meet up downstairs. We're gonna go to Emancipation Park and I guess there is a chicken place nearby that a lot of flight attendants love so we're also going to check that out. Real quick before I go, let me give you guys a room tour. So there are two beds. Ignore that mess that I've made. I've started unpacking. Here is the bathroom. It's a pretty big size, which is nice. There is a full length mirror right here. A fridge, TV with a dresser, chair, and then the view is of what looks like to be a downtown area. Now with Juliana and Sarah, and we are now heading to Emancipation Park.
So what's the verdict, Sarah? Do you like the jerk chicken? It's really nice, it's not a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my biggest faults, I guess you could call it, as a traveler is that I am such a picky eater. So even though right now I'm in Jamaica and there are jerk chicken places everywhere, which by the way, I just looked up exactly what it meant and jerk is a style of cooking native to Jamaica in which meat is dry rubbed or wet marinated with hot spice mixtures called Jamaican jerk spice. I hate super hot food, I hate spicy food, I do not like the way that it feels in your mouth, I hate that burning and watery feeling. Sometimes I do feel like when I travel to certain places because I'm a picky eater, I do kind of miss out a little bit. I did have a lot of fun getting to go to Emancipation Park with some of my crew members and eating lunch with them even though I didn't really eat, I just kind of watched them eat. But I am going to rest because I am exhausted. I didn't even really sleep last night. Look how yummy this salad looks. It's barbecue chicken, tomato, pineapple, corn, black bean, and I believe almond shavings. This lighting is not the best because it's nighttime now. Originally, I was gonna go eat dinner down by the pool and eat at the restaurant, but as soon as I got back to my room and sat down, I just felt this wave of tiredness come over me. I am still exhausted. I think it's just from this entire month, I have had to get up early every day consistently. And when I say early, I don't mean like seven or eight. I mean like two, three, four, five in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I have about five minutes before I need to head downstairs and take the van to the airport. I had a really great layover yesterday. I love this crew. Everyone is getting along really well and we're just having a really good time. Today we have our longer day. We fly from Kingston to Miami and then Miami to Charlotte and then Charlotte back to Dallas. And I did want to explain something to you guys. So all the flight attendants on the plane always have different positions and the different positions on the plane mean that you have different responsibilities. And for this trip, I am position one, which means I am the lead flight attendant. I like flying lead just because I like to be in charge and I think it's fun working first class. So like I said, when you are the lead flight attendant, you are sort of the closest thing to a manager on the plane that you would have. So I'm responsible for helping the other crew members if there's a miscommunication or if something is going on on the plane and they need my help. I am also responsible for setting up the first class galley, doing all of the PAs, which are the announcements that you hear over the plane. I'm the first face that you see when you walk on the plane. I am the person who greets all of the passengers. I am responsible for the customs forms, so I have to make sure that every crew member has the customs forms and that as a crew, we distribute them to all of the passengers. When we're on a layover, I am also responsible for checking everyone into the hotel, and that is both domestic and international. Made it to Miami. It is a beautiful day out here. I wish I had a layover here right now. I could really use the beach and some sun, but we are just now waiting for our plane to be ready for us to board, and then we're going to work the flight to Charlotte. So last night I was supposed to get home at around 8 p.m. and I was not home until after midnight. And this was because Dallas had horrible storms yesterday during the day and it caused a lot of delays and cancellations. Chicago also had a lot of stormy weather which caused their airport to have a lot of delays and cancellations as well. So when you mix those two things together, it's a recipe for disaster. So we take off in Charlotte, flight smooth, although it takes a lot longer because we have to go around storms. And then by the time we land, the storm has passed through DFW, but all of the gates are occupied because there was such a cluster of planes that were delayed and were able to take off. There's only so many gates. Finally, after sitting on the tarmac for close to two hours, we finally got a gate. I was exhausted by the time that I came home. I just 
showered and went straight to bed, hence why I am concluding this vlog this morning. So anyways, I just wanted to say thank you everyone so, so much for watching and for supporting my channel. It really means the world to me. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave me some comments, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any of my adventures. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.